Hey guys, today we're building the crazy caterpillar. Uh, it involves a whole bunch of ties on top and a bunch of legs and a head. Paint it colourful. Let's do it. Make sure you check out the description below, which has a list of all the tools, materials, alternative elements which could be used to swap out for this piece, as well as any other elements which could connect to it in some way. So the Crazy Caterpillar is great for kids to be climbing all over, running around, inventing all sorts of games, riding on top of this giant caterpillar. And it can be a really good piece to use um, to mark out the play space as well. With the long body of the caterpillar, that um, acts as sort of pathway to where the playground sits. So you can grab these free, downloadable, step-by-step -step instructions, which will help you out along the way from the Playground Ideas website. So the first thing you want to do with your caterpillar is mark out where the tyres are going to sit. We've used a bit of limestone for this one just to mark it out so we know where we're going to be digging. When you're figuring out where to dig your holes for the caterpillar, I like to lay out all of the tyres that are going to be sitting on top and then you can find the middle and dig down from there. That's your reference point. They're going down about half of the diameter of one of those tyres. So for these ones about 40 centimetres. Now, we've used, I guess, what you'd call seven legs for this caterpillar. The designs say to use eight. You can use however many you like, really, at the end of the day. It's up to you. Use your own initiative and work with the site. We actually hit um, some water mains, which meant that we couldn't um, dig any further. So that's why we've got seven legs. But once you've got the main body of the caterpillar, or legs, in the ground, you then want to have one tyre that is buried on an angle into the ground as the tail. So I've dug the holes and we want to make sure before we set those uh, tyres in place that the tyres that are sitting on top are going to uh, fit because you have to fit those two tyres bolted onto the one tyre that's buried into the ground. So I haven't got a lot of space to work with so make sure that that's really tight and exact. So here's the guys now, they're mixing the sand, concrete and aggregate, uh, getting it ready to pour into the piece here. So we're going to go just at the base of these tyres to give them some real structure, but then filling that top section up with a lot of soil. When you're filling in the tyres with your earth, you want to make sure that you use a lot of water with that one and just pack it in really, really densely, especially inside the tyre. That's where you're going to get so much of that strength. It can be much easier to do all your primer and your paint once the pieces are in the ground, especially once you've done all your digging so there's not going to be a whole lot of dirt flying around. Once you've poured your cement, come back the day later and water it. You want to make sure it stays nice and moist as it's drying so it doesn't dry too quickly and then start to crack. It also has the added benefit of compacting that soil so it's nice and tight around those tyres. Give it a good wash once it's in the ground again before you start painting because otherwise you're just going to be painting dirt. That's just a bit silly. Get a piece of paper underneath so the paintbrush isn't going to be picking up all this dirt uh, along the way. So we've got spanners on both sides of the head for the crazy caterpillar. clever way to make sure that your marks are going to be in the same spot. A little bit of paint on where you want the hole to be on one side of the tyre. It'll leave a mark where the hole's got to go. Just like this. And now we're just fixing the eyes onto the caterpillar. We've marked out where the hole's got to go. Again, big wide washers on both sides. When lining up your holes to bolt through your tyres to connect them all, make a little template. I've got an old uh, paint lid here. You can use anything, use a piece of wood, use a piece of paper. Um, you just want those holes to be in exactly the same place at every time. So we're using our marks that we've made from them. We've started drilling holes that then we're going to use to bolt through our pieces. Yeah. Excellent. We've marked out from underneath into the top tyres. 
and now we're just opening up those holes again so that the bolts can go through and it won't slip through with those really wide washers in there. Now, of course, painting is one of the most important parts of one of these pieces. Change the entire playground piece. Making sure that you're using an oil-based paint for these ones, uh, so that'll mean it'll last a lot longer out in the weather and getting a lot of work from all the kids. Do whatever you like, get the kids involved if you can, um, get everyone involved and have fun with it. So this design, as well as all of our designs, are made to be used in conjunction with the free safety handbook which is available from the website. It's just down there. Hey, what did you think of the video? Please let us know down below in the comments. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of what Patrick's doing in India. You can go and visit playgroundideas.org which has 150 designs and all the resources that you need to build an awesome playground. And lastly, we've got a ton more videos to watch, so check them out here.